Mr. Computer Answers here today, and we're going to be talking about basically After Effects rendering and why would a clip be so big if it's so short. So I got an example here for you guys. So basically, I rendered out this movie here, 719. It's a six second clip at 720p, except it's 506 megabytes. Why would it be so big? Well, this has to do the, with the way it's compressed. And compression. What, it, what the, really the point of it is, is so that you can reduce the size of your movie so that it's for your own use or for whatever you want to use it for. Um, compression is uh, achieved by using what's called an encoder. And decompression is achieved by a decoder. And basically both of these uh, encoders and decoders are known by the term a codec. And one single codec is not the best for all situations. For example, if you wanted to upload a video to YouTube or using that video for another post-production effects or something like that. So for this instance here, this would be used for another post-production effects. So let's go ahead and go to After Effects. And this is what I was rendering out. So I'll just go ahead and show you. Not much. It's just kind of a firing the gun and that shouldn't take up that much unless for post-production so let's go ahead and hit command M and it brings up the rendering screen the inside After Effects now we've got a few settings here this is just for where you want it to output to so we won't go in depth in that really but if we go ahead and click on this render settings brings up this other window and we can choose the quality now we're not going to be messing around with this really. So if we go ahead and go into the output module and we go ahead and look at the format. QuickTime is really not compressed at all. That's why the file is so giant. So if we go ahead and change to a, a very more common uh, codec such as the H.264 then it will be a much smaller file. So if we go ahead and click on that it will change it to an H.264 and if we want to resize it, we can change it to 720p if you want, or you could just leave it at 1080p. And if you want audio, click here. So I'll go ahead and leave it there. And make sure that it's outputting to the right section. And then you can go ahead and click render. Now I've already rendered out this clip in both 720 and 1080p circumstances. So if we go ahead and look at that, this is the same clip, 719, rendered as 720p. Now remember, this is 506 megabytes here. Now if we go to this one, it's 705 kilobytes. 6 seconds, 720p, same thing. 1080p, 1.3 megabytes. As you can see, compression is huge when you're rendering and exporting. Now, well, After Effects basically comes with another thing called Adobe Media Encoder. And this is... Uh, gives you more control over encoding and compression. Now this is about it for today guys. I really hope this helps if you have any problems with large movie files from exporting with After Effects and so on and so forth. Um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments or send me a private message or an email. Whatever works best for you. And once again thanks for watching.